Keys are so 20th century. A connected lock offers both security and flexibility, letting you control access to your home with your phone. And installation is easier than you think. Here are the five best smart locks to consider. One, Schlage Sense. The Schlage Sense is a Bluetooth enabled touchscreen lock that you can control with your iOS device. It's a slick single cylinder deadbolt lock with a large illuminated keypad, a built-in tamper alarm, and a low battery alert. You can program it manually or with a user-friendly app that also makes it easy to add users and access codes and set up schedules. It only works with iPhones, iPads, and iPods, and it'll cost you a bit more than a non-connected touchscreen lock, but it's the first one we've seen that allows you to lock and unlock using Siri voice commands. What if your phone gets lost? You can open the lock via an illuminated, smudge-proof numeric keypad or with a physical key. The app lets you assign up to 30 different PIN codes, each of which can be restricted by schedule, so you can give a limited code to your housekeeper and unrestricted codes to each member of the household. If the housekeeper quits, you just disable the code. Every user's PIN must be the same length, so if you assign one user an 8-digit PIN, the maximum length, every user's PIN must be 8 digits long. Full logging, of course, is enabled within the Schlag app. A recent update added the ability to unlock the door with a voice command, although you'll need to speak a PIN code you set up to complete the action. Schlag added the same feature to the similar Schlag Connect. The lock adds two additional features to the mix. First is auto locking. This isn't a geofencing system, but is rather a simple timer. If you want your door locked at all times, you can tell the Schlag app to auto lock it after anywhere from 15 seconds to four minutes. Second is a rudimentary alarm system. The lock can be configured to beep when the door is opened or closed, much like a standard security system might do. Or you can set an alarm to go off if an attempt at forced entry is detected, and you can decide its sensitivity level. No smart lock is perfect, yet. But if you're looking to upgrade today, the Schlag Sense is the device to beat, especially if you have an Amazon Echo or live in a HomeKit environment. 2. Quick Set Premise a close runner-up to the Schlag Sense is a very similar quick set premise, which also offers a touchscreen keypad, keyed entry, and HomeKit compatibility. Even without an Apple TV, you can use Siri to tell the premise to open and close. This all gets set up during the initial installation. This app is simple and streamlined, though that comes at the expense of more advanced features like geofencing and the ability to set individual access schedules. The premise feels a touch less sturdy than the beefy schlag, but if a less obtrusive and a bit more simplistic lock is more your style, it's a no-brainer. The premise setup follows the Kivo fairly closely, although it's a bit more streamlined and faster to get up and running. One of the key elements of the premise is that it supports HomeKit, and even without an Apple TV, you can use Siri to tell the premise to lock and unlock. And if you have an iPhone, the lock will automatically be added to your home environment so you can get iOS pop-ups when the door is opened or closed. With a recent model Apple TV, you can do all this remotely instead of just from within Bluetooth range. Note carefully though, that like the Schlag, the Premise app is not compatible with Android at this time. In addition to letting you set up four digit codes for up to 30 users and 15 iOS devices, the app also lets administrators set up an auto lock delay, ranging from 30 seconds to four minutes in length. Access codes can be limited by time or date or given the ability to be used just one time in the next 24 hours. A nifty feature for, say, letting a neighbor in to drop off a package. Keypad beeps can be turned on or off within the app, as can the secure keypad randomizer feature, which illuminates two digits at random every time the lock is accessed. These must both be pressed before a user's code is entered, which might help to reduce the risk of brute force attacks. Three. August Smart Lock Pro. Like the original August Smart Lock, the Pro is a classy postmodern piece of hardware. The nest of the Smart Lock space that doesn't just look impressive on your door, it actually does an awful lot too. The streamlined installation process is one of the easiest in this group, and once you're finished, it becomes a real part of your smart home, integrating with Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, the Wink Hub, and Samsung SmartThings. What's more, the August Connect Wi-Fi bridge is now included in the price of the lock. And another new feature, DoorSense, informs you when your door is ajar. The Smart Lock Pro offers all of the same features that you get with the HomeKit enabled lock, including HomeKit, IFTTT, and geofencing support. 
It also works with other AUGUS devices as well as Nest cameras, Honeywell thermostats, and Logitech's Harmony remote. With HomeKit, you can control the lock using Siri voice commands and create scenes to have it work with other HomeKit-enabled devices, while IFTTT lets you create applets to have the lock react to triggers from other IFTTT-compatible smart home gadgets, such as lights, thermostats, and garage door openers. You can turn the lock by hand to manually lock and unlock the door, or you can use Alexa or Google Voice commands. The Smart Lock Pro uses the same well-designed August Home app as its predecessors. On the keychain screen, tap the home icon where the lock is installed in order to manage multiple locks in multiple locations. At the bottom of the screen is a camera icon that will supply a live feed if you have the August doorbell cam installed. And next to that is an activity icon that displays a timeline of all lock events, including manual and app controlled locking and unlocking and door openings and closings. If the lock is accessed using the app, it will show you who locked or unlocked the door and when. The person icon opens the guest list page where you can see who you have given access to and what level of access they have. To add users, tap invite to send an invitation to a mobile number or to an email address. You can grant full-time permanent access, recurring access for specific dates and times, or temporary access with specific start and end dates. The gear icon takes you to a settings screen where you can enable features such as auto lock, which will lock the door instantly or on a timer. You can set the timer for 30 seconds up to 30 minutes. The auto unlock feature uses your phone's location services, geofencing, to tell the lock that you are home. As you arrive at your door, the phone sends a message to the lock via Bluetooth to unlock the door. Other settings include DoorSense door ajar timing, which allows you to set the amount of time needed to trigger an open door notification, Z-Wave, where you can pair the lock to a Z-Wave hub and HomeKit settings where you can choose a home, add the lock to a room, and give it a Siri name. 4. Yale Real Living Touchscreen Z-Wave Deadbolt The Yale Real Living Touchscreen Z-Wave Deadbolt features a sophisticated design, and speaks three languages and boasts easy-to-use controls. For basic lock automation, it does the job nicely, and works with a wide number of systems. The first thing that you'll notice about Yale Smart Lock is the touchscreen. It's sleek, glossy, and capacitive. This gives it a brighter, slightly sharper display and one that you won't need to press down on quite so hard. You might expect that, like the capacitive touchscreen you'll find on most smartphones, you'll either need to be barehanded or wearing special gloves in order to key in your code. With Yale's lock, however, the screen responds to touch even through thick, non-conductive fabric. After installing your lock and turning it on, you'll be asked to enter a programming code. This is the master code that will allow you to enter the lock's programming mode. From here, you'll be able to add or delete access codes. The Yale can store up to 25 codes. Just connect your deadbolt to a local network and tweak the lock settings. You'll also be able to activate privacy mode, which automatically disables all codes, temporarily turning your smart lock into a regular old lock. 5. Lockly Secure Plus The Lockly Secure Plus is a Bluetooth-enabled smart lock that adds a couple of layers of security to prevent stolen codes while offering app-controlled guest access and auto lock features, as well as a handy fingerprint scanner for quick one-touch unlocking. The Secure Plus is easy to install and offers relatively quiet operation, but it lacks many of the smart features that you get with the August Smart Lock Pro and Connect. Available with a satin nickel or Venetian bronze finish, the Secure Plus is a complete lock set and includes an exterior escutcheon, an interior escutcheon, a mounting plate, two gaskets, a deadbolt latch, a door strike, all necessary mounting hardware, two keys, and four AA batteries. The exterior escutcheon measures 7 by 2.3 by 1.2 inches and has a capacitive touchscreen keypad below which you'll find a keyhole behind a protective cover. On the right side of the lock is a biometric fingerprint scanner surrounded by an LED ring that glows green when you successfully scan your fingerprint and red if the scan fails. It's a 3D scanner, which means it requires a real fingerprint to open the lock and will not respond to lifted prints. You can store up to 99 fingerprints in the app database. At the bottom of the lock is a restart button that can be used to reboot it if necessary and a pair of battery terminals that let you use a 9 volt battery to open the lock when its AA batteries have died. One of the coolest features of the Secure Plus is Lockley's Pin Genie tech that changes the order of the numbers on the keypad to prevent anyone from stealing your access code. When you swipe your hand in front of the screen, it displays four buttons, each with three numbers that are used to unlock the lock. 
The interior escutcheon measures 7 by 3 by 1.4 inches and has a thumb turn for manually locking and unlocking and a privacy button that disables the external keypad and fingerprint scanner so that the lock can only be opened with a key. The top of the escutcheon sports a removable cover for the battery compartment. Here, you'll find a program button and a reset button. You can program the lock using the keypad to add access codes, submit fingerprints, and enable the auto lock feature which will automatically lock the door after it has been unlocked for a specific period of time between 5 seconds and 300 seconds. The Secure Plus uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone but lacks Wi-Fi connectivity. As a result, it cannot connect to the internet and cannot be locked or unlocked remotely like the Nest X Yale Lock with Nest Connect. It also lacks the support for Apple's HomeKit, Amazon Alexa, and Google Assistant voice commands and IFTTT applets. The lock uses an intuitive mobile app, Android and iOS, that will lock and unlock the door, allows you to assign temporary and time-scheduled access codes, program fingerprint access, check battery life, and view event history logs. Vent history logs.